Good day, everyone. This day, we are going to continue our discussion with management of your assets, particularly your cash and your savings. We have here the objectives of this topic. We understand the role of God's management. We are going to describe the financial service market today, both depository and non-depository. Then also included are how are you going to select checking, savings, electronic banking, and other bank services that uh, meet your needs someday. Then uh, the process of opening and using of checking account. And then calculation of interest earned by means of compounded interest and uh, future value techniques and uh, developing a saving strategy that incorporate that could be incorporated soon in your uh, savings plans. Uh, before I proceed, allow me to define or discuss to you what is uh, the meaning of cash management. It is a routine daily routine. Ibig sabihin, everyday ginagawa. As the purpose, it is to administer or manage your cash and near cash resources. These cash and near cash resources are also known as liquid assets. Ano yung near cash resources? Ano yung mga cheque na inisyo sa inyo? No? Pwede near cash yan kasi hindi pa talaga cash yan. No? Papel pa lang yan. No? And uh, meron pang tendencies niyan na hindi mag-convert into cash kapag hindi na pondohan. Near cash pa lang siya. Or any other remittances na hindi pa na-claim. Or pwede rin mga investment na subscribe pa ng uh, issuer. No? Hindi ka pa nabayaran. Hmm. Then we have here the benefits of cash management. It will allow you to control or limit your spending. And it allows you to have a design of your savings program. We do have two types of financial institution. We have the depository and non-depository. By the uh, term itself, depository, ang nag-differ sa kanilang dalawa is that Depository accepts deposits, while the other one does not accept deposits. So, obvious for depository example are banks, either commercial or savings bank. No? Commercial banks, uh, BDO, Banco de Oro, BPI, uh, Banco Philippine Islands, no? uh, DBP Government Bank. So, pero ano na rin sila? Commercial banks, no? Savings Bank, we have BDO Network, no? the former network bank, they are uh, savings and rural banks. Then we have Savings and Loan Association. Wala ito sa matin, hindi ko makikita ng Savings and Loan Association. Pero, example to this, kung madalas kayo sa Davao, and then makakina kayo sa Buhangin area, sa may katitipan, Pag tumihin kayo sa bandang kaliwa, tuminto yung bus sa may bus stop, makikita kayo dyan ng upsway. Na? Armed Forces of the Philippines Savings and Loan Association Incorporated. Mayroon ka din makikita dyan, AFP MBEI, Armed Forces of the Philippines Mutual Benefit Association Incorporated. Yan. Yan yung mga savings and loan association. Sa atin, wala pa masyadong malaking SLAI, no? Na nag-operate. Then, credit unions. Pwede natin i-identify dito, i-classify yung mga cooperatives, no? Credit cooperatives. Na nag-accept din sila ng deposit. Mayroon mga credit co-ops na palaw na ng palaw, walang dep deposits. Next is uh, a non-depository. We have the stock, stock brokers. Kung kayo ay nagtitrade, ito yun, no? Tumatanggap ng ano ito. Ah, hindi tumatakap ng deposit, pero investment, pwede, no? Then mutual fund. Later on, mag-discuss tayo ng mutual fund offered by the government. No? Next, 
we will discuss now the insurance that protects the funds on deposit against failure of the institution. Tawag dyan, deposit insurance. Ano yung failure of the institution? Kung meron na ba kayong naririnig na ang mga banko ay nagsara? Ang tawag dyan, bank run. Usong-uso yan sa mga early 2000. Ang daming mga bankong nagsara. No? So, in order to protect the depositor for, from those bank runs, bilang saraan ng, sarahan ng mga banko, meron tayong insurance for your deposit. Pero, ang maximum lang is, uh, ma insured is 500,000 pesos under the PDIC. Pilip Philippine Deposit Insurance Corporation. Ibig sabihin yun. Pag nag-deposit kayo sa isang bangko, meron kang deposito na 1 million, and then nagsarado yung bangko na yan, ang ibabalik lang o insured lang na pera mo is only 500,000. The rest, i-liquidate na yan sa uh, assets ng bangko kung meron ka. No? Matitirang asset ng bangko. However, kung ang deposit mo is 20,000, hindi naman ibig sabihin na bibigyan ka ng 500,000. Ganon din ang insurance na ibibigay. Insurance na PDIC ibibigay sa 20,000. Next, internet bank. Meron ba bang banko ngayon na hindi nakahook sa internet? Lahat, no? Online bank na sila, no? Online. Commercial bank, BPI online. BDO online. Okay. Uh, DBP online Video savings online ah, Meron pala yung Rural Bank of ano do? Rural Bank of Mati ba yan? Online na ba yan? Hindi pa The next is share draft account hmm. Ano yung share draft account? Ito siya a eh, issued ng hindi banko kundi credit unions co-ops no na similar to interest paying checking account parang meron pa ring check-in to no? actually i did not experience yet this siguro yung mga large account na maintain sa mga co-ops no meron silang share draft account pero ito ay tumutubo no nag-earn siya ng interest para din later on, yung now account ng current, okay, or checking account. Okay. Next slide is still continuation on checking and savings account. Um, ano yung checking account? Yung checking account, pag sinabi mong current account or checking account, it means the same. Na? Ulitin ko, checking account or current account, isa lang ibig sabihin niyan checking account. And there are two types of checking accounts. We have the regular accounts and the negotiable order of withdrawal or the now accounts. Ang kaibahan ng dalawa sa regular account uh, walang interest. No? And then, wala kang charges kung mamintain mo yung balance requirement. Ang now account, interest paying current account. Of course, dalawa yan, merong balance na i-maintain. Ngayon, kapag ka mag-pull below ang account mo, below sa minimum required balance, dyan pumapasok yung mga charges. However, kung mas mataas kaysa maintaining balance, yung balance ng account, wala kang charges. Okay? And ito, special kind of account. We have the asset, management account. Actually, bihira ito sa bangko, but usually ito sa mga brokerage and mutual funds. Ano ito? Uh, aros na, nandito na lahat yung gusto mong mangyari sa account mo. Pwede ka mag-deposit, pwede ka mag-issue ng cheque, pwede ka mag-invest, pwede ka mag-hiram. Actually, I have not yet experienced this. Ang na-experience ko lang within my 12 years of maintaining account iba ibang bangko, uh, merong regular, meron din akong now account. Pero hindi ko masyadong napapansin yung now account, now account kasi ang liliit lang naman ng interest. No? Doon na lang ako sa regular account. Uh, I maintain an account for 12 years. Hindi basta-basta mag-maintain ng current or checking accounts kahit sa ulo. 
no? Lalo na kapag ka meron kang na-issue na malaking amount and then ano nga ninyo yung account balance mo, kulang. So there are tendencies na magkaroon ka ng overdraft. Okay, didiscuss natin yan later on, no? Next is electronic banking system. Sino ba? Ano ba mga features ng electronic banking system? We have ATM. Sino bang nakakita ng ATM? Sino yung hindi nakakita ng ATM? Ano ba yung sabihin ng ATM? Automated teller machine. Usually, ginagamit ito sa withdrawal 24-7. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, anytime, anywhere. Okay? The next is debit cards. Anong kaiman ng debit card sa credit card? Ang debit card, ikaw ang magpupondo sa account mo before you can make purchases at any POS terminal. Ano POS terminal? Yung bang sa cashier, POS terminal yan eh. No? May nung pa-swipe-swipe dyan, POS terminal yan. Ang credit card, sino ang nagpupondo? Ang nagpupondo yan, yung bangko na issuer ng credit card. Hindi ikaw ang nagpupondo. Ang gagawin mo lang, magbayad ka ng yung monthly payment. Ha? Pero may discussion dyan. Malaking discussion dyan sa debit cards. Ah, sa credit cards, sorry. Then, Next is electronic fund transfer system. Ito yung, yung dream ko, pero hindi natupad. Electronic fund transfer. Ay na, benefit ko pala ito once and for all. Ito kasi, meron kang savings deposit, meron kang current deposit. Say for example, nag-issue ka ng check eh, sa current mo, kinulang yung pondo. So automatic ko, merong balance yung savings sa kami, transfer niya ngayon sa sa current account mo or sa checking account mo. So, walang problema. Yung kalaban kasi natin sa check is oras. Minuto pa, segundo pa. I will discuss it later. The next is other bank services. We have safe deposit boxes. Hmm. Pwede ka pala mag-rent ng drawer sa bank ko. Sa bank's vault. Meron kasi akong auntie na meron ganito. Auntie, hindi ko naman direct na auntie. Yung auntie na misis ko, meron siyang safe deposit box sa PNB. Uh, Kubo branch. No? Doon niya tinatago yung mga title ng lupa. No? No? Yung mga jewelries na mamahalin. Lagay mo sa safe deposit box. Pera, pwede ka maglagay doon. And, and other important things na para sa iyo. Ang kaso lang, hindi yun nag-earn ng interest. Nandun lang siya. Eh, ikaw pa nagbabayad ng renta sa box. Okay? Okay, next, trust services. They are managers of investment. Okay, for example, uh, matanda, isang matanda, negosyante, tapos nakabili siya ng 500 or 100 acres of very fertile lands tanim na coconut, whatever agri-products. Ngayon, wala siyang tiwala sa mga apo niya. Mga anak niya na i-manage ito very well, baka mawala lang yun. Nagawin niya, mag-engage siya into planning managers. Sila ang magmamanage ng real estate. Tawag niya kanila is trust services. Pwede rin i-act niya ng bangko. Sila ang magmamanage niya. And then yung proceeds, yun yun they distribute sa mga ears. Kanya? Okay, next slide is description of what is savings and checking account. But before I proceed, allow me to reiterate the accounting equation. Assets equals liabilities plus proprietorship or net worth. If you are going to transpose liabilities to the other side, Assets minus liabilities equals proprietorship. And I would like also to announce to you that American households are savings savvy. They're really safe because 75% of them save money 
in savings. Pilipinas kaya. <laughs> I don't know kung pa sa 5% or 10% yung mga tao nagsisave sa atin kasi para tayong manok. No? Don't we earn. Spend agad. Pag malaki, kimaliit yung kinikita, gasto sa agad. One day millionaire pag may pera. No? Okay. We have important terms here to discuss with checking accounts. We have overdraft. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina. Overdraft. Ibig sabihin, meron kang checking account, di ba? Say, nagsulat ka doon ng amount na 10,500. Yun yung balance mo lang pala is 9,800. So, magkano ko lang mo? 9,800, 10,500. Ang mga 700. Pero hindi naman ibig sabihin no, na sagad-sagarin mo yan. No? Dapat meron kang maintaining balance. So, mag-deposit ka ng 5,000. O ang maintaining balance mo is less than 5,000. Okay? Okay, so yun yung overdraft. Yung inisyo mo na check eh, mas malaki kaysa yung balance mo sa account. Pero merong sagot dyan, di ba? Yung EFTS. That is if you're allowed by bank. Na yung savings account mo, automatic transfer doon sa current account mo. Checking just in case. Uh, overdraft where or poor. Mm. Next is stop payment. By the term itself, you stop the payment of a check. Kailan yun posible? Ah, ito. Example is, Nag-issue ka ng check na 10,500. Pero ang babayaran mo lang pala is 8,000. Nasobra. So, ang gagawin mo is ispastop mo yung payment ng check. Okay? Para maka-prevent ng loss. Mahirap pa naman maningil na. No? Once na-issue na. So, anong gagawin mo? Ang gagawin is one day before mag-due yung check. You have to inform the bank meron kang pipilapan doon. And then you also, you also will inform the entity na na-issuean mo ng check. Okay. The entity that the, ish, that the check was issued. Kasi baka magalit. Di ba? You might feel uh, uh, angry. Why this check was being stopped? Was being stopped by the bank. You can do that. Minsan kasi inaabuso yan. Uh, although, conflicted ako sa ganyan. Ganito ang technique dyan. Halimbawa, um, alam mo na i-issue mo na check is 10,000. Pero sa sadyain mo na i-issue mo is 12,500. Sobra. Kasi, wala kang pondo on that day. Pagkakapondo ka pa the next day. So, gagawin mo, i-overstate mo yung inisyo mo para meron kang opportunity or chance or reason na pa i stop mo yung payment. Then, ma-extend na naman yung payment period mo. Kung naintindihan mo yan, uh, you can, <laughs> magiging ano ka, as you were nang check na isang kapal, it will go in mong strategy yan. Ha? Pero, huwag mo sabihin, advice yan, ito. <laughs> okay. That's unethical. Pero, it seems na. Okay. Kasi sa checky kasi, sa overdraft, ang kalaban mo dyan is minuto, segundo. Oh. Halimbawa, the cut-off is 11 o'clock in the morning. Kulang ka, ang pera mo sa bangko, 10,000. Ang inisyo mo, 12,000. Kulang ka ng 2,000. Ngayon, kailangan before mag-11, mag-reflect yung deposit mo. Kasi pag ang deposit mo nag-reflect ng 11.05, ma-NSF na yung account mo. No sufficient fund. Pagtatak pa lang ng no sufficient fund, mag-charge na yan ng 1,200. Tingnan mo ha. Five minutes lang ang interval. Ngayon, ka savage yung checking account na yan. And then, pag hindi mo pa napapand yan within the day, kulang pa rin, magcha-charge na yan ng 1-2 magiging 2,500. Kung nadepositohan mo na 
on the next day. Nahabol mo sa 11 o'clock. So, 12,000, di ba 10,000 ang balance mo as illustrated ko kanina. Then, kulang ka ng 2,000. And then, nagpinagdi ka pa na 2,500. So, magkano na deposit mo next day? 4,500 na supposedly. Pero hindi yun kasi kailangan mo mag-maintain ng balance. Kaya gagawin mo, deposit ka ng mas malaki pa para hindi ma-close yung account. Okay? I hope naintindihan nyo yun. Next is monthly statement or uh, sometimes tawag ito bank statement. It lists uh, itemize the transactions of the account. Then account reconciliation. Balancing the checkbook against bank statement to uncover errors in recording checks. So for example, uh, hindi, hindi nag-match yung Kasi ang, ang checkbook, meron niyang mga columns, matrix kung saan ka maglalagay ng yung deposit, then issued na check corresponding. Para ma-monitor mo rin yung sarili mo kung hindi ka ba ma-overdraft. Yeah? Ganun siya. So you have to reconcile it. Baka uh, feeling mo meron kang pondo. Pero si mali pala yung na-post mo sa yung checkbook. Plan mo sa yung check checkbook. Adi, putok yung check mo. <coughs> Sorry. Na NSF siya. Sabi ng NSF, no sufficient fund. Ibigin, magbabayad ka ng charges and penalties. Okay? Next, special types of checks. We have cashier's check, traveler's check, and certified check. Ano yung cashier's check? Ito yung check ke eh, na pinaprovide sa kayong mga walang check eh. Hmm. I will discuss later on ang benefit niyan. Traveler's check naman, yung denominated na check. Mayroon 500, may 1,000, may 1,500, may 10,000. Okay? It can be purchased at the time. The certified check, itong special kind of check for special people. Ito naman yung mga special people, eh yun yung mga taong may malaking account balance sa bangko. Na? Kasi the bank is... Uh, guaranteeing how much man i-reflect mo sa check mo. The bank certified na kaya yang i-reconcile sa balance. So, only yan. No, only. Siyempre, ikaw, alam mo naman yung balance mo. The next naman, itong cashier's check. Ano to? Walang check eh. Ayaw mong magdala ng pera. Say, for example, mag-travel ka, dapat magdala ka ng supposedly 500,000. Ayaw mo mag, mag, magpadala ng pera. Hassle masyado pa mag si Buana Lulier ka niya. Ano? Ang gagawin mo, cashier's check. Magpa-issue ka ng any bucks. Of course, ma-charge yan. Ha? Ang dadalhin mo lang when you travel, you check it. Eh. Pagdating mo sa destination, doon mo yung cash. For any purpose. Pero may ibaya diretso. Ito na traveler's check. Gusto mong i-control yung expenses mo. Diyari, mabakasyon ka. Diba? Bakasyon grande sa Burakay. Ano gagawin ng traveler's check? Denominated kasi siya. May 500 peso na check. May 1,000 peso na check. May 1,500 na check. Ang gagawin mo dyan ay, yun yung dadalhin mo. Gamay, unti na lang yung perang dadalhin mo. Kasi, pag nagbabayad ka, yun yung ibabayad mo yung check. Okay. Hmm. Kesa open, ATM lang, saki-saksak sa machine, ubos. Hindi mo makontrol. No? Sarapan man gunastos kapag ka nagbabakasyon at travel. Okay? Next is starting your savings program. Your savings program will start once you identify yourself that you will not only put deposit or save when income is greater than expenses. Ang gagawin mo, magkano gross compute, magkano i-deposit, saka ka mag-ano ngayon. Unahin mo na ang deposit. Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin na, ah, maliit man yung income ko ngayon kasi expenses, hindi ako mag-deposit, hindi ako mag-save. No. The time, yun yung determine, na maski, dapat mag-save ka, maski mabaliktad man yan. Mas malaki man expenses kaysa income. Next is choose savings vehicle to achieve financial target. 
Ano ba target mo siya? For example, very common. Gusto ko magkaroon ng perang pang deposit para sa motorsiklo na gusto ko. Or, gusto kong bumili ng motorsiklo na cash basis. My choice. Na mag-ipon ako. So, ano yung vehicle mo para mag-ipon? Say, for example, mag-save ka ng 1,000 every period. So, 1,000, doon ang beses, 2,000 times 12, 24,000, may ipon mo. In 2 years, 48,000. In 3 years, 72,000. O 3 years time, meron ka ng motor. Pero saan mo siya inalagay? Sa bangko? Pwede. Diba? Sa so, co-op, pwede. Basta ano lang, mature co-ops lang na hindi magkaroon ng co-op run. Kung merong bank run, meron din co-op run. Magsasara yung mga cooperatives. Pati deposit mo, mag-thank you. No? Okay. So, ganyan. Pwede rin sa bahay. Pero be careful na hindi yan ma ma makita ng rodents. Makakainin ng daga. No? <laughs> Kasi ayang naman yung yung ipon mo. Okay? And next is, uh, how do we compute earnings in uh, savings? We have compounded interest. Nominal interest rate. No? Gamit ang nominal rate. Simple interest. Uh, pag hindi given yung yung period pag hindi kasi given ano, pag walang nakalagay na monthly uh, pag bangko sabag ang bangko hindi naman nagsisimple interest yung bumbay uh, simple interest rin no? hindi naman taunan pag nagcompute ng interest yan hindi buwanan so ang simple interest depende sa agreement no Pwedeng monthly, pwedeng quarterly, pwedeng semi-annually, annually. So, mga co-op, more or less, 3% per month ang interest. Simple interest computation yan. So, pagka kayo ay nangungutang, tanongin nyo. Or mag-deposit, ano ba ang compounding nyo? Simple o compounded? Next na tanong, ano ba yung compounding periods? Ibig sabihin ng compounding periods, ah, uh, Ilang beses ba sila nagko-compute ng interest in a year? Ano anong month na nagko-compute? December at saka June. No? Sorry. The next is nominal or rate of interest. O yun yung sabi ng banko na yun yung interest nila. Yung effective rate of interest kapag ka nagko-compound ka. So for example, um, pag semi-annually, dalawang beses sa isang taon, di ba? Kapag quarterly, apat na beses isang taon na compute Kapag semi-annually, ano, 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 monthly, eh, 12 times siya magkukompute ng interest. Masyado masipag yung bangko pag magkukompute ng interest every month. No? Okay. Okay, so yun yung effective rate. So, ibig sabihin, ang effective rate, kapag 10% o 12% per annum, kapag monthly, Ang effective rate is 12% divided by 12. So 1%. Kapag quarterly naman, every 3 months, 4 times a year, 12 divided by 4, or 12 divided by 3, 4 times. So 12 divided by 4, 3% in every compounding period. Na? So we have to take note of that. Kasi magagamit natin yan later on sa computation, sa compounded and simple interest. And there are many ways to save. Example for that is time deposit. So for example, my, my period, yan, yeah. my quarterly, my monthly, my semi-annually, my annual, my running five years. Like, mag, uh, time deposit ka for five years. Big sabihin niya, walang galawan sa pera within five years. No? And then with that, you'll be issued with certificate of deposits. Later on, malalaman natin kung magkano yung pera mo or after the uh, deposit period or savings period. Another one is treasury bills. Ito naman ay securities. Ibig sabihin, mag invest ka sa Republic of the Philippines. Parang ipahiram mo yung pera mo sa Republika ng Pilipinas through the Bureau of Treasury. Of course, ikita yung pera mo dyan. Na? Wala pa akong experience niyan, kaya hindi ko masabi kung 
magkano kikita ay ng 1,000 pesos in a year, no? Okay, let's proceed with the next slide. Uh, now, we are going to compute now the simple and compounded interest. During the previous lessons, we computed it using Appendix A, Appendix B. Oh, ang tawag natin dyan, future value factor, no? Dito, we will be computing it using your scientific calculators. Alam mo pag may nakita kayo dyan sa table na SC, ibig sabihin yan, scientific calculators. Okay? Okay. Mr. C deposited 250,000 for 5 years at a bank that offers the following 5% for savings account Ah sorry class wag niyo muna nang i kwento ha i, i discard muna ninyo yung 9% certificate of time deposits si Ah uh, hindi mo natin gagamitin yan ang gagamitin mo natin is 5% for the savings account, okay? Now, if the compounding period is semi-annually, compute the following future values, assuming no withdrawals for savings was paid. Okay, simple interest for five years, compounded interest for five years. Okay, so we have here computation A, simple interest annually. Okay, the formula is P, uh, future value F equals P plus I, or equivalent formula is P of N close parenthesis 1 plus IT close parenthesis. Where P is the principal, so the problem, 250,000. The interest rate, as what I mentioned, wag mo natin, i-discard mo natin yung 9% all throughout the computations here kasi wala naman sinabi na time deposit sa problem. So 5% ang nominal rate natin, na? Okay. If the compounding period is semi-annually, compute the future value. So ang hinahanap dito is F. So, ang formula is F equals P plus, A, P plus I or P1 plus I, T. Top in close parenthesis. So, interest rate is 5% or 0 0.05 in decimal and the number of periods N is 5. So, computing for I, I is PRT. No? PRT. Simple interest. Ah, hindi ko na isusulat yan kasi mula pa noon hanggang ngayon, I equals PRT. Principal times rate times time. Na? So, I is uh, 250 times 0.05 times 5. The answer is 62,000. And then we add it to 250,000, magiging 312,500. So yung, ano mo? Yung five, uh, 250, magiging 312,500 at the end of 5 years. Next is uh, compounded for 5 years, semi-annual. No? Bonnie Beard is semi-annually according to the problem. Huh? So let's, saan tayo magpo-proceed? B or C? So ang sagot niyan is C, yung highlighted in blue. No? Okay. So semi-annually compounding. So number of compounding periods Kapag semi-annual, dalawang beses. Kapag quarterly, apat na beses. So, kapag ka semi-annually, then 5 years. So, a number of compounding periods natin is 10. 5 times 2 ka beses sa isang araw, o sa isang taon mag-compute. Mag, uh, so, that will be 10. And then, the effective rate, interest rate, 
will no longer be the nominal rate. Nominal rate yung 5%. So yung effective rate natin, kasi dalawang beses nagkukumpute ng interest sa isang taon, so yung 5%, hatiin natin sa dalawa. Yung 5% divide 2 or 0 0.025 divide 2 is 0 0.025. And again, the number of compounding periods is 10. So applying the formula, F equals P plus open parenthesis 1 plus E raised to the power of M, where M is 10. So calculator tayo. 250,000 sabay-sabay. Meron na? Okay. Times 1.025. Meron na? Okay. Next is, ano yan, sir? Yung greater than na pointing upward. Ang tawag dyan is karet. Karet. Hanapin nyo sa key, sa, key, sa keys ng inyong calculator. Pag walang karet, hanapin nyo ang y to the x or x to the y. Either, ha? Pwedeng karet, pwedeng y to the x, pwedeng x to the y. Ang calculator ko, ang nandito is y to the x. Kaya yun yung pipindutin ko. y to the x, 10. And then, equal sign. So, the answer is 320,021.136. Exactly as kung anong nandyan sa slide. So, ito namang compounded annually. Ilan yung compounding periods? Kaila, uh, ilang beses nagkukupit ng interest sa isang taon? Isang beses lang. Kaya ang N is just the nominal and the effective is just the same. You know? Five. And then the, the, the nominal rate and the, the effective rate also is just the same. No? Kasi annual eh. So, ang calculator natin, ganun din. 250,000 times, oh, yung, yung effective rate natin, hindi na 1.025. 1.05. 1 1.05, y to the x, 5. The answer is 319,070.3906. Exactly as to how it appears in the slides. I hope nakuha nyo kung paano i-compute using calculator. With this, hindi na tayo magre-refer doon sa Appendix A. At saka may advantage ito kasi kapag ang compounding period, ang kaya lang isolve ng Appendix A is Computation B. Kasi annual eh. Kabation sa annual. Pero yung Computation C, hindi na kaya ang isolve yan ng Appendix A. One thing more before proceeding with the next slide. Ito, uh, future value when compounding is directly proportional to the number of compounding periods. Ibig sabihin, pag tumaas yung number of compounding periods, tataas din yung future value. Directly proportional man sila. No? So kung medyo maliit yung compounding periods, maliit din yung future value. Nakuha? Please take note of that kasi magagamit niyan sa mga activities, no? Then, uh, I also reiterate that the effective rate for quarterly is the nominal rate I divided by banks, divided by 4. And the number of compounding periods M equals N times 4. Okay, for example, the Nominal rate provided by bank is 10% and we are going to, uh, and also, the, this is applicable only to compounding interest and not with simple interest. Na? So, kung ang compounding period natin is quarterly and then the nominal rate is uh, 10%, so that will be 0.1 divided by 4, that is 0 0.025. And uh, the number of compounding periods, say for example, it will stay there for three years. So that will be three times four. Compounding period is 
actual. I hope you get it. No? You get it. Proceed with the next slide. Next slide is uh, an uh, activity number one. It is just a follow through of the problems uh, provided by uh, in the previous example, Mr. C. P is 250, the, effect, the nominal interest rate is 5%. Now, we have here, in the example provided, uh, Mr. C, what is the effective rate E and compounded period M if the compounding is quarterly? How, how much will be this money after five years? And then what are your observations? Observations. The last slide is if you are unhappy with your present savings profile, what will be your next move? Again, I would like to remind you answers are not found in the internet, it is found in this slide. Any answers browse from the internet is not honored. Thank you and good day, everyone.